We start with the political crisis here in Korea. The big question remains when and how President Park Geun-hye will leave the top office to take responsibility for the biggest scandal Korea has seen in decades. The ruling party is now in favor of her resigning next spring. The opposition bloc, meanwhile, has effectively delayed a vote on a motion to impeach her to next week. Jim young with our top story. The ruling's Henry party has unified its position on President Park Geun-hye's resignation and will urge President Park to resign in April. The action would trigger an election 60 days afterward or in the month of June. I will use our party's official position on resignation in April and having an early presidential election in June to negotiate with the opposition bloc. The non pro back lawmakers aligned itself with the majority and agreed to abandon its push for a time-consuming impeachment process. On the other side of the political aisle, the three opposition parties failed to reach an agreement on whether to put their impeachment motion up for a vote on Friday, December 2nd, as originally planned. Their inability to decide effectively postpones the vote to December 9th. Delaying the impeachment vote until December 9th will only decrease the drive to impeach the president. Our goal is to get the impeachment motion passed. We will continue to persuade the non pro park factions. The opposition will vote on the motion within the regular session. The Korean people want the president to be impeached. If that's the people's will, we must do that even if we have to do it ten times. I say to the Senuri's non pro pak wing, resignation is a president's obligation, impeachment is a parliament's responsibility. To pass, the motion must be supported by two-thirds of the National Assembly or 200 members of the 300-seat parliament. The opposition bloc is 28 seats short of getting the two-thirds majority it needs to pass the motion, and therefore must try again to persuade this Henry's non pro faction to join forces with it as well. Tim Young-gil, Arirang News.